What will be, will be. Out of thousands, you will find one good one, maybe. <laughs> okay, can you introduce me yourself, sir? Well, I think everybody knows me in Oroville after all these years. I'm Gerard from Oro Orchard, one of the first farm who was created by the mother in 1968-69. Amma! No, you want to see all the details now. <laughs> Well, for me it is very simple. Mother one told me that I have a piece of land near Promise. Can you see what we can do something? And this will be to feed the Oroville kitchen. And it's like that that the whole thing started. And we try and we started practically with a very uh, simple mean. And we started uh, developing the, this, uh, I would say, relatively big piece of land. Can you talk something in Tamil, No, sir? I don't think, no. Okay, fine. Okay, please talk, sir. Well, when I came and I saw the huge place, it was about uh, 60 acres of land. And uh, there were, the mangoes were there and some cashew nut was there. And this is what has saved us economically because mother seems to want to do a different experience here when she said you have to try to be self-supporting. Now what I understood to be self-supporting is that if we have an average of say 10,000 rupees of vegetable uh, our extra expenses should not be more than 10,000 rupees. That was our simple way to do things. And at that time, you know, when mother asks you something, then the spirit was different. You try to do it. Either you fail or you succeed or you can do it or not, but you start. And we started to do it. And in a way, I would say our success has not been so bad after all these years. Do you recall the first moment, the first thing when you came to this farm? What did you saw and what was? Well, it was mostly a barren land. As I said, the mangoes block was there, some cashew was there. There is a open bore well with a very old diesel engine with a belt system to pump little water. Uh, I say, well, he, well, it's a fantastic opportunity that mother is giving me and I should try to carry on the job. That's all. What was the first plant or something you grown here, planted? Well, we started with a vegetable little bit of vegetable. Okay. And uh, when that first vegetable came, yes. so what was that feeling which... Well, it was very nice and th at that time we, we were getting, uh, I would say, a maintenance for the farm and everything was given free to the Oroville prosperity. At that time, there were no maintenance, there were nothing. It was a completely different way to, to act, to work. And I felt it was, you do it as a, as a service. You feel you do something for a service. You don't attend, oh, my, my maintenance will be so much, oh, then should I work uh, eight days a week or six days a week or three days a week, it was not there. 
You just do the work who has to be done, that's all. Hey! Hey, hey, Miami, Hello. Miss Miami, <laughs> Mademoiselle Miami. Ça va? Ça va, ça va. <laughs> tu as un interview. <laughs> okay. Ask. So, what is your favorite story about Orville? My favorite story? Yeah. Well, the miracle is when mother asked me to come and see what we could do with this land and if we are able to grow some vegetable to feed Oroville. Okay. That was the most fantastic story I, I could uh, have, you know? Yeah, cool. An opportunity that mother gave me cool. 50 years ago. Oh, nice. Half a century, you know? Yeah. And like, what did you do in Norville? Well, my job was here. You're I'm a farmer. I'm a farmer. And with who you work? We had some other, we had another uh, Orovillian, I think Mr. Mercier. And otherwise we had few, two or three local workers. Okay, nice. That's so all. you see. Here we are. Au revoir. See you again. See you, you see, every day you have some fantastic story, but it's a part of the game, I suppose. And as is as you take it inwardly. Uh, for me, um, well, it has always been a kind of a miracle over miracle. And uh, in the beginning, uh, yes, I, I mean, you know, the whole. It was the beginning of Oroville, this enthusiasm, the spirit of creating this city that mother is have seen. Uh, that is the fantastic thing for me, that's all. You know, I don't think we should analyze mentally too much, this, that, this, this, this. I don't think it's the way to, to analyze things. Personally, I don't feel. It's why I cannot give you all um, and no many fear. Half a century has gone. It's quite long ago. So, uh, so when after you, when the first vegetable or the fruit which came yes. out of this farm or yes. orchard, so you would have gone to mother and you'd have presented her. So what well, was the reaction? Well, I don't remember at that time if I could yet go to mother just like that, but. Uh, we we sent a message and a part uh, we sent some sample I think to the mother what we were sending to Oroville Prosperity and um, she was very happy she said you continue my blessings are there okay so what she do you will always encourage you by the way always you know. So what do you what do you feel like after 50 years of this farm what do you feel about Well I, I think no it, it has developed slowly slowly as a I would say like a big family farm but now Christian has come and he's the guy I, I'm sure will take over the farm and uh, He's doing his way, he has a lot of energy, a lot of dynamism and the farm is taking a new shape and with a lot of uh, volunteers who are coming uh, that we did not have before. Um, I think it is uh, taking a, a new turn and I wish him all the best. What happened to your hand? Oh, just a little cut, nothing much. That is a part of the game also. <laughs> so, at present, what you're working here, like uh, what you're doing? Well, uh, I've taken a small uh, part of the job, say, uh, 
making a seedling for the vegetable, looking after the greenhouse, and have some other uh, plots just here where we do um, organic farming, uh, BRF, in, uh, but not, I would not say that it is permaculture. So can it's ask a part of the permaculture. Can I ask you like uh, what, which uh, year and the date you started this farm? Well, the first bore well, a new bore well near Hope got operated in uh, 31st March 1969. It's, we can say this is the real start where we could irrigate uh, about uh, five, six acres of land with the bore well. Can you tell me about a story about your... Uh, no, about the... bore well, I would say also that the, the water under our orchard I would say is not a very good source. Is why uh, uh, in summer I don't think we can irrigate more than 50% of the farm, if I'm correct. I don't know exactly, but it's... Um, and as the borewell cannot be put anywhere, cannot put near each other, we cannot add so many borewell here even if the money is there. But we wish we could do one in the mango grove. That would be very useful for the mangoes and the new plantation. This is the end of Christian. The future is with him. He has to organize the developments according to his vision, I would say, not mine. Can you tell me about your... Uh your truck or your car, which you... Which one? The, the car you got it from Paris? You, oh 19... no, that it is in 74 or so. Somebody offered us from Switzerland the money to get a van from England, from straight from the factory. And the price was very, very reasonable. But the freight to bring it, to send it by boat to India was very high. And we decided to come by road. Can then you tell me that story? Well, story, nothing special from England, Europe, a, a tunnel under the Mont Blanc, going to the bottom of Italy, cross by ferry to Greece, then Istanbul, uh, Iran, Afghanistan, uh, Pakistan, and India. That's Pondicherry. How many days does it take to? We went slowly, it took nearly. I think 45, 60 days about. Okay. So which was the best route or the country on the way you saw to drive? Well, it's a little become easy. You know, for me, this is all part of the game. I don't think it is so important to have really fresh... Uh, every, every country has its own... Uh, you know, its own fantasy, its own difficulty. I mean... So you were driving alone or somebody was No, I have another friend with me, we were two. Mm -hmm. yeah. Car is today or tomorrow? Car tomorrow, UTS. Please come. Sunday, Sunday, 5.30. Please come. BT, please come. To delay, 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 delay. Hey, you have to ask us for uh, editing. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, walking, I'm uh, carrying papaya, I, I am on a motorcycle. He's, he's taking you, no? Yeah. Yes. No. yes. It's Tell okay. me something about story. Or no, whatever. there is no Once story. Upon the, a time. <laughs> no, the only story that the success of our orchard is Bito because BT was with us, was with me here. My God. And not what? my God, it is there. <laughs> it is, it is Even indeed. now, today, she is a top 
controlling, uh, how to say, manager of everything, she's there. It is a big... A and I think organ. it is very important, otherwise everything mm. gets loose so easily here, and nobody knows what is going on. <laughs> Sviti, can Sorry. you tell me when did you came to Aurora? Oh, Aurora an eternity. <laughs> 1974. Can you Month tell me the date? Yeah, May. when I went to get the car. car yes. See, May. then Month she took charge May of Aurora. 1974. Orchard. But she was helping before, no? You were before, I no? Before I was poultry, before. we started the poultry, we started so many things. She was the brain behind the poultry also. Because okay. our, our uncle was the Sadak who started the poultry in the ashram. Enough, no? Of course it's enough. More than enough. <laughs> this one we is should not say too much. No. <laughs> this one is too much. Jude Boltai, come on. What do you want to do? Oh la la. Okay, sir, it's finished now. I hope so. Oh, it's still. <laughs> you know, all this area, I'm supposed to look after with the one, one lady who is helping me for many years. This is our, uh, this is our irrigation system with 1,400 liters of water stock with a small uh, pump. Okay. <laughs> but very interesting, we have always tried to use as less power as possible. Can you imagine the pump who is doing all this irrigation is only quarter HP. Wow. And you can, you, you want to? The filter here. Double filter we have put for the drip. Yeah. This is to see some water, some rain is coming to protect the motor, that's all. Oh la la, oh la la. We have a Please. This is one line, I would say, it's a kind of experimental mangoes. Uh, it's all uh, new variety, cross variety, and we have put them one, two, three mini sprinklers. That if there is too much dryness before the, the, the cropping season, we give them little addition of water. And here we try to do a very good uh, mulching. What's that sound? This is all... This is all our beds, you know? Raised beds. And now it's all under green manure. And this will be... We are keeping it ready for the tomato season Capsicum season in, say, December, end of December. What is that name of the bird? I cannot know, I don't know, I'm very poor on that. This is another... This is the greenhouse protection. We are trying to length the cropping season of the tomatoes. But there is a little difficulty in November, December. The, the weather is very dark and the plants, they don't do well under dark weather. Over uh, cloudy weather, dark cloudy weather. And this is the, the drip. We have to put two, two drip lines here. And here we are doing this BRF experiment 
for so many years and it looks very uh, very great is for the rainy season it means november december and in summer also it looks now that this plastic who is practically transparent but little opaque will diffuse the ray of the sun and it's a little better for the plants but all these things you know we need some professional people who know the job we don't need people who knows nothing about agriculture. We know people who knows the job. This is the famous Sunham green manure. Yes, please. I start at uh, this. Yeah, start again. This please. is a Sunham, a green manure, leguminous plant, who is very good for the soil. We wait, we wait, and immediately it reach about one one and quarter or two meter, the flowers are coming. Then we start cutting, cutting, cutting in small bits of one, one and a half foot. And we keep it back on the soil. We don't touch it, it's like a mulching, we will slowly dissolve. Then after, in December, the tomatoes will be planted in that. So what's the advantage of doing that? What it does well, for the soil? It's, it's feeding up the soil, it's feeding up the, the Bacteria, it's filling up the uh, fungus, the champ uh, mushroom, and it gives a very good, uh, how to say, um, uh, soil, a fantastic soil, like in the forest. Please walk. Wait. I would like to mention that uh, uh, here the white hands, no? The termites. Mm -hmm. are a terrible fellow that it is the enemy of everybody. But for us, see here, this is all the termites who are finishing the cellulose of the green manure and their droppings are there and it gives a very good, it gives a very soft and very good soil. That is the wonder of BRF technique with the help of the termite who has become our good friends. Here, not somewhere else, not in the house, but here. I'm not following it. <laughs> okay. See, this is our vegetable lady with very good experience. And I would say they, they do a good job. Nella vale il che no ma seri na cardica i po clean pa na ok ok thank you thank you thank you ok seri cardica di ok seri ma ok bye bye, bye. now see I don't know if it is important for you. See, in front you have a first class avocado tree. Okay. Who was planted by us from the seeds we recorded. See, this is a, you, you, you see in front, not, not on the left, this yeah. is bean tree. Yeah. I think you have to go a little where the girl is there. Yeah, I can and you, see And you take a photo there. Too much lean, otherwise, you know, people, they don't understand. They don't know what is a lean, they don't know what is an avocado. Yeah. Yeah. This we use a black plastic that is and see below because we have a lot of of weed and now that is the best natural way to kill the weed and in the same time you preserve see here no you can see this is all white hands they are all processing it's like becoming a compost Oh, it's a natural way of composting. Yeah. You follow? Yes, I got it. Okay, you got it. Now. Tell me. No, if you want. Yeah, please See, tell this me. This is a drip irrigation for, for trees. It can be any tree. It can be a cashew, it can be a mango, it can be. Then when you put one sprinkler, two sprinkler, and three. And the outlet is from one 
One, the full control is here. We can control from here, you understand? And now this will work. So how many sprinkles uh, sprinklers you have now at present? No, that's it. If, you, if, I, if I have 10 trees, then there is 30 sprinklers. It's three sprinkler per tree. Okay. Okay, can you explain me what is agriculture and what these people they well, think about it? Well, I'm sorry. It will take hours and hours. It's not, I think, the way here to speak about agriculture. Only what I would say, we need people who would like to learn to be an agriculturist, to know the soil, to know the plants, to know the seedling, to, to know everything. A basic thing should be known. But most of the people, they are goodwill, they are helper, but they have not much knowledge of agriculture. That's all. I have nothing else to say. If anybody is interested to become a dedicated agriculture, what he or she should do? Then either she go to the university, if she is on that way, or she comes in Oroville and work uh, for one year, two years, three years on a farm, like an like a apprenticeship, no? But not simply come and do the work and go home and forget about everything. They have to learn something, no? Is what I would say, that's all. I don't mean, you know, I, I don't know. The Oroville way is different. Uh, I, I don't want to judge or to say anything. You see, when you, you are a, a minimum, uh, I would say, software man, you know about tally, you know about words, you know about Excel, you sit on the computer, you come at 9 o'clock, at 12 o'clock, you push up, put your computer off, and it's over. Agriculture is not that. It's 24, 25 hours a day, eight days a week. It should be, uh, what you say, a full consecration. It is something that you, li you like, you love, is a hobby, you know. It should be your hobby, what I would say, the spirit. That you don't watch your watch and say, no, it is time to go out, you see. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm too much. Oh, be careful, be careful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, see here, look, here. That is their nest, you know. It's terrible. So no, this ants don't, don't go you? below. No, I think it's over. I've spoken too much. Yeah. So can you tell me, like, what is to be a Orwellian? Well, you will be very surprised, but I don't think I have much to add to what Mother has said. Mother has said how many messages she has written, she has replied to people. No, I wish that people should try to learn that, to try to study that, and try to understand why they have come to Oroville. And if their why is really fulfilled by mother's vision, then I think their place is in Oroville. But if they don't bother much about what mother and Shrobindo has said, I don't think their experience in Oroville will be very useful. Anyhow, this is just my personal experience. I hope I'm wrong. And I wish any newcomer to open to what mother and Shrobindo has spoken about and why uh, to be more and more conscious of the reason, why the real reason, deeper reason, why they, ca they come and want to settle in Oroville. And uh, everything will be with a smile afterwards. Okay? All the best to everybody. In the golden highway that mother say, there is a sunny highway. And where is that? Well, you have to find it inwardly. You cannot pay for it. That's very good. Very good, we cannot pay for it, you know. <laughs> so what do you pay for it? Well, I don't know. You are fast, <laughs> I will fall. <laughs> Big smell.
Now let us all go together on the golden highway that Mother has spoken about. And bye-bye, good luck to everybody. Keep on walking. Keep on walking. No. Fifty, maybe eighty years old. When I came, it was less than half of this and see how the nature has done its work and now it is still going till there 2018. That's, that's that awesome. the nature is doing his own work. So do you remember uh, about uh, avocado tree where the mother had eaten that seed? Yes, Which one? still these trees are there. It was given to us and we say, okay, we try. And it was a great success, that's all. Where is the tree? They are all that side. The, the biggest one? The biggest one. No, not this one, this one, it is our tree. If you want, you, you stop, I will show you. If yeah. you want to yeah. uh, Let's shoot go them. Then. Yep. Hope you're not tired, sir. No, it's okay. But now it will be the last one. But now they are becoming old, you know. Well, it's long ago. It may be in 68, 69. Some people were sending avocado for mother from Sri Lanka. They were eaten and some people recuperated the seeds, they put them in a plastic bag and they started growing. And it seems people did not know at all what is avocado. Then she said, if you would like, can you put them in our orchard? I say, most welcome. Then she gave it to me and at least half a dozen of these trees are there. But you cannot see from there, you know, from here. I think this is one avocado. <laughs> and thank you for your time. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Whee! Wow, wow, wow. See, this is Bima bamboo. Our famous Bima bamboo. What is Bima bamboo? The name of a, a, a bamboo is very, very strong, like steel. And we have uh, some friends that have given us the seedlings six or eight years ago, and it's all growing that side. This is How old is this? That must be, we last BT, it's a pretty old. It must be 40 years old. This is 40 years old. Wow. No, no, it's <laughs> to do yoga, you have to focus also. Okay, can you tell me about this bamboo? Well, this is a bamboo as we we'll call Bhima, to the strong man of the Mahabharat, if I remember well. He's as strong as a steel, and the advantage is the is full growth. There is practically no hole inside, and it's very, very strong. Now, that stem was from one from one seedling was like a pencil. It was like a pencil and now see, it has come like that. Ah. And it has no, yes, very important, is a thornless bamboo. What does that mean? Thorns, no thorns. All the other bamboo has thorns. Ah. So which part of India is this bamboo from? Well, that it is a selection. It has been grown by tissue culture. It does not give any seeds. Oh. See, you, you, you cannot even, see, see, so strong. You, you, you cannot move. It's like, a, you cannot even sow it. It's so hard. It's very difficult to cut. 
So they, they construct houses and everything with this? No, no, no. Mostly it is for biomass to make uh, gas. You put that in a gasifier and you make gas and you run an engine. There, when there is a process of like charcoal, there is a gas which is coming out, you collect that gas. And you know, gasifier, people will know what it is. I cannot give you all the technical detail of all these things. Thank you for your patience, sir. We, I miss your smile, sir. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sir okay, well, last, last thing. Go ahead. Tell me something in... Something in Tamil because I know. Nene, kagad sodia, no abicho na chaye. Finish, start again. I say kora kagad kuchne chodo abi. You report it, you put it on, you put it on the video. Now. Very good, then. See? Yeah. Great, 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 great. great. Can you tell me about this? See, Bob. This is a plastic bag to grow to grow avocado seeds for next seedling. Then something inside that? Huh? Something inside the cover? No, just to keep weight. Uh, pomelo has a... It is for Pomelo for Shan. Look at that. Look at that. The moment I'll open my, my mouth. Hey, you want to play with Uncle? See? See what he's doing. Hello. <laughs> what is that? What are you doing? Hey, come and see what he's doing. He's you balancing. You want to try? Try. Go, go inside. Go inside. <laughs> Take it. Say, balancing. Balance and you should walk too. Oh. That is Okay, just give it to him, let him balance. No, no, it's okay. It's enough. enough. <laughs> it's a big pommel. Can you see the picture in there? Your face on it. It's too close, you should not come too close. Go back. Go back. Hey, you should play, yes, respect the camera. Girl. Yeah. Welcome back. Okay, sir. Chapter close. 101 pages. Challenge your Abhi kuch nahi. I can't open my mouth the moment I'm opening the camera system. Yeah. Truly, he's taking or not, I don't know. Or you speak rudely in Bengali. He's <laughs> acting rudely in Bengali. Get yeah. out now! <laughs> no, I know Bengalis, they like Kata. Kata bolbe? Bolbo. Kata bolbo. Kata bolbo. Okay. Okay, you ask him one last important question to him. This is the moment you can ask. No him. chapter close. You can ask him. Oh. One Should more I? question. Yeah. One more question. One last question, okay? One last question. I ask. say chapter Who's close. That? To Who ask him. I have, I have to ask him. Yes. What should I ask? <laughs> there is no question to ask. Ask him one question. Hey, yes, look, one look, question. Look, look, hey. The dogs. Hey, this <laughs> Any question? Yeah, ask. But maybe it's already on question. Yes, ask no, no, no. a thousand and one question, you know. Okay, okay. I, I did not reply to Tell me the most beautiful things that mother ever told you. Is one she said, I have a piece of land near Promes. Go and see if we can grow vegetable for Auroville community. That's all. That is the best thing that I could say, no? What do you want more? Yeah. What do you want more? Yeah. And I told him already, he was asking me so funny questions. I say, it means people, they don't read what Mother has written about Oroville. First let them read and be interested. I have no right to waste my time on this, uh, to reply to this question. That's all. It's very simple. Can we have last smile, sir? Smile, smile. Yeah, say cheese. <laughs> Hello. You want to go and play? Both of them run behind him.
Okay, come, come. Yeah, I'm ready. See, this is uh, say this is basilic. No, it comes very well. We put the seeds straight here, like that. Okay, the seeds are coming. Then after, when it is, it is, is the this is the tubes. We call that the tubes. Then for different size of tube, but this for basilic, it is this size. Then we put the seed, it grows up. Then when it is ready, the roots are coming out here, little bit. Then we push it with a small bit and we get... This is the thing goes and it is planted. Can you hold it? Wait. That Okay? Yeah. Like that. Can you make it straight, sir? Down? No, no, yeah, down, yeah. Yeah, like that. Okay? Okay. That's it. Now, when I keep something like that, my hand... You see already, this is really ready. See all the... It has become like a netting, you know? This is ready to plant. Yes. Tiga? Tiga. That's good. Okay, fine. Tiga? Yeah, just... Smell it if you want to smell or something. Okay. You want to smell? It's really a little bit... Uh, okay? Yeah. Bas, bas, finish, finish, finish. Okay, please. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then uh, you come here. Starting. This is for bigger plant. This is a bottle gourd, Sorakai or Loki in Hindi. Okay, so this is what happens. This. Then the same thing. Then they will take it out and they will plant it. Okay, so the bigger See. plants will have a bigger. A bigger uh, container. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Bas, finish now. Then of course for papaya you can take here, this is papaya, big, big plastic bag. Bye bye. Okay, see you then. Yeah. Say bye bye. Okay, then let us hope for the best. Okay. And we'll check all the all the photo. Okay. Two kilo, Ramanan. Yes. So, this one is uh, is uh, completely mature for us. Uh, look, at the, it's uh, I, I'm quite tall. I'm uh, one ninety. <laughs> And the plant is 186 feet. Huh? And look at the, the trunk. The trunk is like my, oh, not even more than, and you can look at this.